Hey guys, it's Geno Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a god mode glitch in the Halo Infinite campaign, which is super easy to do and it makes you completely invincible in the campaign. So, I believe this method originated from the Halo Runs group, and I also want to thank Sergeant Barnes for showing it to me on Twitter. So, big thanks to everyone for that. So, anyways, to do this, what you want to do is, first of all, you need to get to the excavation site mission where there's a giant laser beam firing. And I would recommend you capture a few FOBs around the area to make it easier for you in a little bit. But anyways, once you're at this mission, uh, just this is right at the very beginning. We haven't really done anything yet. We haven't activated the lasers yet. But once you're here, just simply trigger the cutscene that activates the lasers. And what's also important is that while this does work on any difficulty, you're going to want to make sure you get like a checkpoint at this part in case you need to redo it. And on lasso difficulty, if you don't have full health, that could be tricky because then you won't have a checkpoint. And if you revert or you die or anything, you could go back pretty far. So just uh, keep that in mind. But anyways, just uh, once the laser beams are on, that's, that's basically it. So to actually do the god mode glitch, so at the most fundamental level of it, the most basic, easiest way to do it, without any other uh, bells and whistles to it, is you just need to fall into the laser beam from the top and then go down into it and you get pushed down into it and survive. And once you get pushed through it, you're actually invincible. You can see here I'm taking like a lot of damage, but I'm actually not taking damage and I'm not dying and I am completely invulnerable now to all the damage. And that's really all there is to it. And this could be used as a speedrun tactic. Well, it is a speedrun tactic, and you can use it to progress to the mission from there. But if you want to use it, if you want to like keep the ability with you throughout the open world area, and you want to explore with it, or do other uh, missions or side missions with it, then what you need to do is go to the very top of the mountain here, just above the beam, drop down, and quickly activate your tack map before you hit the beam. And then once you have the tack map up, just, uh, just fast travel to the nearest FOB, and that's it. Now, if you're not quick enough to bring up the attack map, then once you touch the beam and go inside that area, then you won't be able to bring it up anymore. And you'll either be stuck there, or you have to proceed to the mission if that's what you're intending to, or you're gonna have to like end the game and then resume at your last checkpoint. But once you've fast traveled, you can verify it worked by just throwing a grenade at your feet, and if you don't take any damage, then then you know it worked and this ability will stay with you for as long as you're in the game if you end the game and start it back up you'll lose the ability or if you start another mission you also lose the ability and also you want to be careful because if you once you do the glitch if you like fall under the map then because you know you have god mode on uh you won't die and you won't you won't despawn you won't revert the last checkpoint or anything you'll just be stuck at the very bottom of the map and well there'll be nothing you can do, so you have to like end the game there and, and revert. So also just, you know, be careful with that. But yeah, it is a very effective glitch in that it's like 100% effective and nothing can kill you, not even like falling through death barriers and stuff like that, which is really great for exploring out of the map, which I'll be doing in future videos. But I wanted to put this method out there so that uh, was something to refer to in the future and for something you guys can use to uh, make your campaign playthroughs easier or, you know, just have fun in general. But yeah, once again, big thanks to the uh, Halo Runs group for finding this. At least I, I'm pretty sure that's where it originated from. And also thank you to Sergeant Barnes on Twitter for showing this to me. But hopefully you guys all found this to be interesting and uh, hopefully fun to do. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if there's any areas you want me to explore with this glitch or anything I want to do with it. Uh, and aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!